You know what I mean? And that five seconds is literally gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. <laughs> guys, I miss you guys. I seriously miss you. We have not filmed in a hot second. I think it's probably been like five days. And that's, you may be like, oh, that's not that long. But that's a long time for us. Like we don't go that long without filming ever. So I miss you guys. Um, <laughs> But yes, guys, this weekend we had some unfortunate events happen yeah 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 but it was pretty bad um so stay tuned if you want to see <laughs> you know more in depth of what happened and how it happened um i'm gonna actually let taylor tell her side of the story first so yeah Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and turn on post notifications if this is your first video. Also, guys, I want to take a quick second and say thank you to anyone who leaves a comment, especially, like, the really nice ones and the really sweet ones. I seriously love reading comments. You guys, honestly, like, I, it just means the world to me when you guys leave comments. So, maybe we need to come up with a question of the day <laughs> so you can comment something. Except some of you don't even answer the question of the day, which is just kind of disrespectful. Um, let me think. Okay, guys, I have a question. The question is going to be, what is, like, the most rebelous or, like, kind of, like, baddest thing you've ever done? I'm a pretty responsible person. <laughs> It's the one who gets in the car crash. But no, I am a pretty responsible person, so that like isn't very rebelish to me. But one time we were at, I think we were at some basketball game at the middle school. I'm pretty sure it was a basketball game. Could have been something else, I don't know. But it was me, Taylor, and Addison who like snuck back into my middle schools and my science teacher, my science teacher, not Addison's, not Taylor's, mine, science teacher's door was unlocked. He must have forgot to lock it. <laughs> so we went in there and we literally like tore up that classroom. I mean, we f that classroom up. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and I still to this day can't even believe I did that. If you're wondering, we did pick everything up. We weren't just gonna like leave it a mess. We picked everything up, but I'm sure there was like some things that were like maybe a little bit misplaced. And he's like, huh? Hold on, huh? I mean, I think he's kind of clueless because I got an F on every test, but somehow I had a B all year. Not really sure how that happened. Um, but now we're just getting into Taylor's, you know, kind of the side of the story. Okay, I'm gonna go, guys. I have a seriously hard time going. We all know this. Okay, I'm going. Hey guys, it's Taylor, and guess where I am? My favorite place, the bed. Okay guys, so I'm gonna walk you guys kind of through my side of the story here. So basically what had happened was Ava was going to get Adrian around eight-ish, eight o'clock-ish. Eight she guys all know who Adrian is, she's been in a lot of videos, whatever. So then it's like nine o'clock and she's still not back. So I'm like, we were going to Kane's, right? When Adriana, when Ava brought Adriana back. So all of us were gonna go to Kane's and I was like, wanting my Kane's because I was freaking hungry. Nobody's back yet, so I go and look at Ava's location, right? Okay, she's still in Edina, so I text. I'm like, why the f are you still in Edina when you left at 8 and it's 9? Like, you should be back by now, because Edina from our house is only about 20 minutes away. So I'm texting, 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 guys. Like, over and over and over again, I'm texting. Nobody is responding to me. Adriana's not responding to me. Ava's not responding. Nobody's responding to me. And guys, I'm checking Ava's location all the time. And it's the same spot. So I'm just thinking she got pulled over because we have a tail light out. So that's just what I'm thinking. <sighs> no, guys. No. <laughs> she didn't just get a little ticket. She got all that car exit. <laughs> guys, when I tell you, I was calling. Adriana, I was calling Ava over and over and over again, like over and over and over again. Nobody would answer me and their excuse was we're on the phone, which Ava was on roadside assistance and Adriana was on the phone with my mom, but the only person that I got a little bit of intel from was my mother and even she didn't know because she was wasted. <laughs> so they didn't get back until like 2300, which is 11 o'clock. We still got canes, just a little delay. <laughs> okay guys, so that kind of concludes my story like I said, but I am going to answer 
the question of the day, bitch. And the question of the day is, what is the most rebelous ring you've ever done? Huh? Rebelous thing I've ever done? The rebelous thing I've ever done is probably crash the car with a permit. But yeah, that's probably a rebel-y thing that I've done. Like, I'm probably not gonna do my homework. That's probably as cool as I get, like. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. I know you missed me. We're gonna go downstairs, but I just wanted to say what's up. I'm back. Okay, I'm downstairs. We got the party lights. Woo! It's a party. Um, but guys, I just remembered it was Valentine's Day. I forgot. <laughs> um, so comment down below who's your Valentine. Gigi's my Valentine. <laughs> so guys. I don't know why I'm smiling because this isn't really a smiling factor. So, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> so, I was on my way to go pick up Adriana from her high school. And I knew, guys, I knew I should have turned the other way. Like, I knew I should have. Like, I wanted to. But there was this other car, like, waiting to go. So then I, like, went the way GPS told me to go. So I did that. I'm cruising on this road. I'm, like, in this neighborhood. It's very dark. There's no lights. And I just don't know. I, like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm following GPS. And there's, like, curves everywhere. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Why did I go this way? Anyways. So I was just going. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know if like the turn just ended quick or like the turn came up too quick or what it was. But like I got distracted. I get distracted very easily and I try, like I literally try when I'm driving just not to get distracted. But the thing is, is I don't go many places. And when I do, we go on like the same roads. Like every time, like I could drive literally on the same roads that I do with my eyes closed and be like fine because I just do it so much but this was a completely new road and I just like wasn't and it kind of just like happened like it was like a blink of an eye I just don't like I remember actually crashing but like before the crash but before the crash I don't remember what happened like I remember following maps I remember looking at that house but then there was like a five second period of just time that I like don't remember. Like what was I doing during that five seconds? You know what I mean? And that five seconds is literally gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Um, so then I crashed and my initial thought was, I don't really know what my initial thought was. <laughs> my initial thought was probably like, oh. I think my initial thought was probably Adriana cause I was going to pick her up. Um, my initial, but also I was like, how in the world am I going to get home? Because my mom was of course not home. She was out. Um, I called her up and I was like, listen, I just crashed. Like, come and get me. So it took me a minute to like fully process the situation. Like I called my mom and I was like perfectly fine on the phone. That's when I was like still crashed into the car. And then I like tried to move the car and I did. I like moved it up kind of like off of the street. Um, or I just was seeing like if the car could still move. I don't really know. I wasn't gonna leave guys. Don't think I was gonna leave. I 1000% was not going to leave, even if I could. I moved the car and then that's when it kind of like kicked in and that's when I kind of realized like I fucked up the car, like it up. Um, and then I just started like bawling my eyes out and then I got on FaceTime with my mom and I think just like, I don't know, her not being able to like think straight made me even more upset and she kept calling me taylor and it was just this whole thing also the fact that you guys know my dad moved away and it was also like the first big incident where i like only had my mom to like come and get me in case of emergency obviously he could have came down and got me but again he's like three hours away like that's just a, like a huge inconvenience so that was another really really hard fact about the whole situation so guys how do you only deal with having like one parent to like rely on in like emergency situations like i know if it was like really really an emergency like you could come down but like three hours is like a crazy amount of time you know in an emergency situation <laughs> you know what i mean it's so, like how do you deal with that i don't know and then what made it even harder was 
my mom's boyfriend being able to come and my dad just couldn't, you know? And that sucked. I hated the fact that he was there and my dad wasn't. Like, I just, like, I just hated that fact. So I was kind of mean to him. Not kind of. I was mean, but, like, let's be honest, it's not like he was being nice to me either. Um, but basically back to kind of the crash after I, like, moved the car forward, the neighbor came out and checked on me and was like, hey, are you okay? And I'm pretty sure that was the neighbor that called the cops. Um, which was like a little annoying. Like not that I didn't want the cops or like it's whatever, like I didn't really care. But it was like, that's just not like, this isn't your problem. You know what I mean? Like there's just some people that like come in to like your issues. Like this is my problem, let me handle it, okay? Like I don't need your help. So then at this point, my mom is coming on her way and I know you guys are all wondering about Adriana and I'm gonna FaceTime her. I don't know if she'll answer, but I'll FaceTime her. But she was at the high school and I was maybe like five minutes away from the high school and I told her to get a ride so can someone come pick you up? And of course she's like, no. <laughs> so she walks to me and Adriana definitely has a very calming vibe. Like if she was not there, I probably would have punched that piece of sh in the face. I feel like we know who the piece of is. And I'm over exaggerating guys. I know there's so many people out there with like way worse situations than me, like parent wise, not just like this car accident, but like parent wise. And I just don't want to act like I'm in this like terrible position. I'm not, I'm like in a fine position with my parents. You know, it's not like I have something to complain about. It was just really hard for me, that's all. You know, there's some things that people struggle with more and some people that people struggle with less. And this is something that I've always struggled with is just like my parents dating other people. Not saying that they can't, I'm not saying that, obviously not, but it's just something that I've always, always struggled with. If you wanna date my parents, just know I'm gonna be a bitch to you. <laughs> so. Then, guys, eventually the neighbor called the cops. And as the cop got there, I was like, tell me who the f called. Because I wanted to know who called. And he's like, well, I gotta go look it up. And I'm like, go freaking look it up. Because I wanted to know. Anyways, this cop was a really great cop. He's really nice. Um, and, of course, the first thing he does is asks for the license. I didn't have my license. <laughs> Did not have my license. <laughs> no, did not have that. But I had Taylor's. <laughs> so you best bet I gave him Taylor's. And Adriana was so I thought she was gonna freak out that I gave Taylor or gave the cop Taylor my Taylor's license as for me. Like I literally thought she was gonna freak out. And she played it off so so good. I was so proud of her because I honestly thought she was gonna like lose her sh Anyways, I don't have my license, so I give the license, I give Taylor's license to the cop and he like runs it or whatever and then writes up like the accident report, whatever. And he's like super nice. He stays with us the whole time until my mom gets there and until the tow truck gets there. Anyways, so I call roadside assistance before my mom shows up and the roadside assistance lady was really nice. But they said the tow was going to get there in 30 minutes. But then the tow company said it was going to get there at 5 a.m. And we were like, what? We were like, no. No, 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 no. And we could have just left the car there and wait, waited for the, like that same tow truck to get there. But we just like weren't going to wait for it. So the cop called another tow truck and he got there pretty quick. The tow truck guy was super nice. My mom was so wasted. She thought the tow truck guy was trying to arrest us. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's like, we almost just got arrested. We're like, by the tow truck guy. And she's like, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Can't lie. And you guys are probably wondering about the other car. The other car was a parked car. Parked. Yes. Okay. And you guys are probably wondering, like, what about them? Their car wasn't registered to, like, a house in that, um, like, neighborhood. So they were, like, visiting. The cop found them and I like told the cop, I'm like, you gotta go tell them right now. And I think he thought like I didn't want them to know, but I was like, go tell them right now. And he's like, I can't find them. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, fine. I'm like, let's do some detective work. Come on. So after like the cop came, printed up the accident report, whatever, did all of his cop things, the tow truck came, hooked up the car. Um, but quick side note, some advice, don't ever, don't ever 
buy an Audi. Like don't ever, ever buy an Audi. Those, they're impossible to fix. Even like the most talented of talented mechanic probably couldn't fix it because you would have to like study Audis to like fully fix it. Like they are, it's bad how freaking confusing they are to fix. Anyways, so we, all of that stuff is settled with Cobb, the toe, all that. Um, so we get into my mom's. And this is where we get a little fight. And the big thing is, is it's like all of my mom's boyfriends, it's, I swear it's just her track record. I, get a track record. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm pretty sure it's just her track record with men that have a temper, that like want to fight back with me. Like if you want to fight, like let's fight like i'm ready to go you know what i mean and it's like i swear every man she's ever dated always wants to fight back including my freaking father so hopefully men that my mom have dated are watching this right now and know that she clearly likes men with temper and i want you all to know besides my father even though at one point i did hate you that's kind of me i don't hate him anymore calm down it was only for a little bit so <laughs> Yeah, we kind of just started fighting. And he was just like bitching about the cops and I was like, oh my God, like shut the f up. Nobody cares. So that's the story. <laughs> that's the story guys, that's about it. Um, obviously you guys saw pictures on the screen. I'm gonna have to look at these pictures when I'm editing. I don't want to. Okay guys, I'm gonna go, but I'll be back, okay? Okay. Now I'm up in the office. <laughs> the office. I'm in my office. But guys, you don't even want to know what's happened. You don't even want to know. Honestly, if I'm being completely honest, like if I'm being honest, <laughs> it's worse than the car crash. Worse! <laughs> I'm in another show. So guys, I need some like comedy movies. Guys, I'm sorry, I can't really sit in this room because they like to leave the window open. Oh my god. And I don't even know why. You I guys, care, wait, no, 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 no. Well then, get yourself in the camera. You guys want to open here because I'm so freezing. You guys want to know how pathetic Taylor is? So with this whole situation, we had to get a rental car, and we got this nice. Who went and got it? We did not have to. I got one. It's my rental car. Okay, we got this I nice. Got we right got this. I, I, Taylor got this nice little Toyota. <laughs> that just wasn't good enough for her. That just wasn't good enough for her. It wasn't so good she enough had, for me. I would have had to go. It would have been fine, but no, we could no, get no, a nicer no, no, car. No, no, no. They said we could get a no. nicer one. So, so why she not? had. So she had to go back to the rental car place and trade for another rental car. That's guys, how pathetic the Taylor Corolla is. The was fine, I would've been fine with it, but they called, they called and they're like, you guys can come back and get a nicer car. They were like want. that, you called, and you were like, can we get a nicer no, car? No, yes. I swear no, to God. I, if I swear to God, they called mom She's and said, lying. you guys can come and get a nicer car because the insurance company's paying for it. She's lying. No, I'm not, you guys, I swear. But you think mom just went back and got a nicer car? Like, no. No, I think you made her go back. No, I'm just the car. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video of how I crashed the car for the very first time. <laughs> no, yay, <laughs> because that's just sad. <laughs> um, Taylor's admiring herself right now, in case you guys were wondering. You want to tell them who your new best friend is? Who you just love so much? Who? Is it that piece of sh? Who? <laughs> <laughs> you know who the piece of is. Who? Who's the piece? Of That's his new nickname. I don't know. It's the piece. Of Taylor loves the piece. Of you guys know who the piece. Of is. I don't know who it is. Taylor loves. Why don't you tell me? It's the piece. Of <laughs> oh, who's the piece of, piece of I don't know who that is. You do though. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, turn on post notifications, and we will see you guys in our very next video. And now it's time it's for us really? to sit. <laughs> Really? <laughs> bye, bye. bye. Good thing you guys did fall off the bed. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend I'm looking at you guys. You guys are just so beautiful. My beautiful people.
table. I can walk up the door right now. <laughs> and I can fucking put you on the floor in a second. I'd like to see you try. 